Hello, I'm Pastor Lane Van, serving Constantine and White Pigeon United Methodist Churches. Today I'm going to begin with a couple of readings. The first is from Isaiah 9, verses 2 and 6 through 7. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. For a child has been born to us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David in his kingdom he will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord will do this. And from Peter Mayer's song, Where is the Light? When it's late December, dark and cold, where is the light? When old man year is bending low, where is the light? When the sun runs, runs off to bed too soon, where is the light? And there's nothing but a skinny moon, where is the light? When it's dark each morning when I rise, where is the light? And it's dark when my eggs are frying, where is the light? And it's dark when off to work I go, where is the light? And it's dark again when I get home. Where is the light? For 500 years, God was, so, was silent as far as the prophetic word goes. And the people living in darkness asked, where is the light? Where was the light that would, that would outshine the darkness and rule with justice and righteousness? This year, COVID-19, political turmoil, and justice and economic crisis seem to dim the candles of hope, peace, joy, and love of the Advent wreath. As we approach Christmas, we may be wondering ourselves, where is the light? But here's the good news. The light is still with us. John 1, 6 reminds us that the one who is represented by the white candle in the middle of the Advent wreath, Jesus Christ, is the light of the world which can never be extinguished by the darkness that threatens to overwhelm us. Where is the light? Well, the light is inside of us. As Peter Mears puts it, where is the light? It's in my skin and in my bones, in my heart and in my soul. That light of life, so bright and golden like a summer day. We are the living presence of Christ for the world. And we are the bearers of Jesus' light. It's in our actions and in our words and in the love of Christ we share that that light is shown out to others. This Advent season, more than ever, people are walking in darkness, waiting for a great light. Will they see that light in us? This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Amen.